greetings and welcome to yet another video today we'll discuss steam condenser steam condenser is one of the components of steam power plant the exhaust steam from the boiler enters the condenser the process in condenser is exact opposite of a boiler the boiler is for evaporation and condenser for condensation if in a boiler it pumps the steam from the water but and in condenser it converts the steam to the water this is a schematic diagram of a boiler power plant or for a Rankine cycle. Please try to understand the individual components of the power plant or Rankine cycle. So let us start with the boiler. A boiler produces the steam from the water by addition of heat. Its high pressure high temperature steam enters into the turbine where the expansion takes place and after the expansion the steam pressure and temperature decreases or enthalpy also decreases. Turbine runs and it will generate the electricity. So low pressure, low temperature steam enters the condenser which is below the atmospheric pressure. The inside pressure of condenser is below atmospheric pressure. The steam enters the condenser. Cooling water circulated in the condenser extract the heat from the steam and the steam is converted to water and the process is called condensation which takes place in a condenser. Cooling water get heated and this this cooling water is again cooled in a cooling tower and cooling pond. It is reused as cooling water. Now the condensate or the water converted from the steam is collected and this condensate is pumped by one pump and it is collected in a hot well. So from hot well this water is pumped by the feed pump and is fed to the boiler. So this is in short the explanation of the whole cycle. Now coming to the condensation again. So condensation is the process of extracting heat from the steam, converting the steam to the water. The process is called condensation. The exhaust steam from the steam turbine is condensed by means of cooling water. So for condensation, we need huge amount of cooling water. Steam condenser. During condensation, the working substance, which is steam, changes its phase from vapor to liquid and reject latent heat. In boiler, the water absorbs latent heat of evaporation and becomes steam. But in a condenser, the steam rejects the latent heat and becomes water or liquid. Condensate, the condensed steam, which is now water or liquid, is called a condensate and can be again returned to the boiler by a pump from the hot well. It saves the cost of water. So the water required in the boiler to produce con steam continuously, this water uh, can be recycled due to the presence of a condenser. If the condenser is not there, then the egg steam entering into the turbine will be adjusted to the atmosphere and those steam cannot be recovered without the use of a condenser. 
the elements of a conden condenser plant we can say in a condenser plant or condensation plant the condenser itself is the first element and for condensation to be accomplished we have to supply some cooling water so supply of cooling water to supply cooling water we need a pump to circulate the cooling water this one is the pump the condensate collected at the bottom of the condenser can, uh, will not come out of the condenser because the condenser pressure is vacuum pressure or below atmospheric pressure so we need one pump to remove the condensate from the condenser so this is called a condensate extraction pump a hot well is required to preserve the condensed water to be pumped to the boiler again and cooling pond or cooling tower is required to cool the cooling water as uh, so that uh, the hot cooling water can be cooled in the cooling tower or cooling pond and it can again be used as cooling water so these are the elements of condensation plant condenser water supply system circulating pump condensate extraction pump one hot well and one cooling pond or cooling tower or boat now to discuss about the condenser it is required to understand why a condenser is required or what is the advantage of using a condenser from ts and hs diagram rankine cycle that the pressure drops from 0.3 to 0.4 in a turbine so 0.3 is entry to the turbine and 0.4 is exit to the turbine or we can say entry to the condenser so from 0.3 to 0.4 this enthalpy drop h3 minus h4 is also equal to the work output of the turbine so to increase the work output of the turbine we have to increase the h3 or decrease the h4 so there is some limitation to increase the h3 or temperature of the highest temperature of the steam so there is one method to decrease the h4 which is the use of condenser if we do not use the condenser then pressure p4 for 0.4 will be one atmospheric pressure only but if we use a condenser then this pressure p4 will be vacuum pressure that is below atmospheric pressure that means the temperature both temperature and pressure at point 0.4 can be decreased only by using a condenser without a condenser the pressure will be atmospheric pressure and the corresponding temperature so the enthalpy drop which is equal to h3 minus h4 h3 minus h4 is called the enthalpy drop increases with decrease in h4 and that can be assisted by using a condenser so the principle is one principle is in order to attain maximum or as per carnot principle the heat must be supplied at maximum pressure and temperature and should be rejected at minimum pressure and temperature so suppose the maximum pressure and temperature is limited to 0.2 in this diagram pv diagram and minimum is 0.4 without condenser and with condenser point minimum temperature and pressure is point is 6 so this is non condensing and this is condensing 
So this PV diagram, area under the curves or area within the curves represents the work done. So if we use non-condensing without condenser, the area is this part. And with condenser, this area will be added. That means the work done is maximized. So maximum work can be attained by using condenser or decreasing the temperature and pressure. So heat is rejected at minimum pressure and temperature by using the condenser. So we can attain the maximum work by using a condenser. So these are some salient point of advantages of a condenser in a boiler plant. So first one is it increases the efficiency of the power plant due to more enthalpy drop. The efficiency is equal to W out work output divided by heat input. But by using a condenser we can increase the W out or work output. So that will increase the efficiency of the plant. So the power plant efficiency can be increased by using a condenser. It reduces the exhaust pressure of steam to increase work output. So another advantage, same thing, the exhaust pressure decreases, so efficiency will increase. It reduces the exhaust temperature of steam, which is also result in more work output. The condensed steam can be reused, that is very important. The condensed can be reused as a boiler feed water and it reduces the cost of power generation. Another important thing is the temperature of condensed is higher than the normal feed water temperature. That is why it is called a hot well. The condensed is preserved in a hot well. And hot well is name is that because the water or condensate coming out of the condenser is hot enough. So if we feed the hot water to the boiler, then that is another advantage. Uh, we can produce the steam with less heat added to that water. So that will also reduces the heat supply per kg of steam produced. That means it will also decrease the cost of fuel consumption or you can say it will decrease the fuel consumption. Elements of condensing plant. First is condenser we have already discussed. After condenser there is another important element is condensed extraction pump to remove the condensed from the condenser and feed it into the hot well. So the condensed extraction pump extract the water from the condenser and it is supplied to the hot well and from hot well it will go to the boiler again with the help of a feed pump. Uh, the condensed extraction pump is required because the pressure inside a condenser is vacuum pressure. So the water itself, uh, water will not come out of the condenser without using a pump from lower pressure to higher pressure. So we need one condensed extraction pump. An air extraction pump from the condenser. The condenser is pressure is vacuum pressure and to create the vacuum inside the boy sorry to create the vacuum inside the condenser the air has to be extracted or sucked continuously from the condenser and that is called the air extraction pump. Next is circulating pump. This is actually cooling water circulating pump. This pump is used to continuously supply cooling water to the condenser and send it to the river cooling tower or cooling pond. So this another pump is circulation pump. So these are some elements of condensing plant.
the types of condenser basically there are two types of condenser one is z condenser and that is surface condenser so the exhaust steam and cooling water comes in direct contact as a result the steam is condensed and it is called a direct contact in case of a surface condenser there are two parts cooling water passes through a network of tubes and the exhaust steam passes over the tubes the steam gets condensed due to heat transfer to coolant by conduction and convection so basic difference is this is a direct contact or you can say the cooling water and the steam mixes uh, but in cases there is no contact there is no direct contact between the steam and the cooling water but the heat exchange takes place from steam to cooling water or from cooling water to steam and they are separated by one surface say by a one tubes inside the tube there will be cooling water and outside will be the steam we'll discuss these two types of condenser in details in our next video okay thank you